Here's some cicadas. line on. I've got some nine foot poly and furled but yeah let's change lines. So there's this new rod that Tinkar Rodco has on Kickstarter that I'm really thinking about backing. It's a Japan made rod. It's called the Kita. It's, flat. it's a 6.4 and the 330 is like a, a blue See you guys, where's my big terrestrials? I put some stickers in my pack. If you guys see me on the river, say hi, I'll give you some stickers. Got my little thermometer, let's check the water temperature. Sixty-one point three in the sun, which is still safe. It's a good looking run on the fishes. Looks good. Should get a couple risers. A lot of fun on this fiberglass rod. If you guys haven't tried Tinkara, ooh, it's pretty brown. Now maybe a 14-inch brown. 
He took this little purple people eater that I tied. Just a little... I'll put a picture of it here up on the screen. Let's see if we can get another one. Hopefully he didn't spook everything out of that hole. Just drying off the fly. Man, that was a perfect drift. See if I can skate it back up. Sometimes skate it upstream. It looks like a bug, you know, hopping. And it will convert to fish. I think my favorite length on this rod is the eight foot. The nine foot three length is a little bit noodly if you're fishing a weighted fly. If you're fishing unweighted flies, like I say a standard kabari, uh, or a soft tackle, or even a light dry fly, it's fine. Um, but if you're fishing a weighted nymph, like I fish a lot of beadhead nymphs because I, I euro nymph, um, the nine foot three inch longest length of this rod it's just a little noodly, so you can't get as that. You can still cast, it's just the casts aren't as accurate. You can't get as accurate of casts, but the rod is just a lot of fun for small creeks. Are up. There we go. There we go. That was a perfect drift. Oh, we got us a fish. It's going downstream. Oh, we're gonna have to chase him a little bit. Look how this glass just bends. Isn't that cool? Is that? It's big and heavy. I think I did. I just discovered it. a dinosaur bone. What is that? You guys tell me what that is, seriously. It's heavy. It's made out of a stone. This end is connected to something. Let me try to get this end up. I don't know what that is. But my fly is hooked on it now. It's amazing what you find in the rivers. The thing could be could be hundreds of years old. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would sincerely, sincerely appreciate it if you did subscribe. Um, it just helps the channel. I'm trying to grow it. I'm really having a lot of fun documenting these adventures. But thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Steve from Black Fly signing out. You guys take care.